Fresh Learn review. Hi everyone, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about Fresh Learn and I'm gonna be guiding you through on how Fresh Learn actually works. I'm gonna be talking to you about all the pointers that Fresh Learn allows you to go through. Okay, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create courses, sell courses, and make a lot of money off of it. So there's gonna be, you know, digital downloads, masterclass, and a whole lot of other details and features to go through. And Fresh Learn is obviously like other platforms you have, uh, such as Kajabi and a whole Whole lot more and you can compare them to these softwares in a jiffy because the pricing is also pretty magnificent you get a free plan and we're going to be creating that right now in this video so this is going to be a fresh learn review please do make sure to check out the link in the description below to check fresh learn out okay and to sign up with it so without further ado let's get straight into the fresh learn review to start things off here you have your basic fresh learn dashboard okay so in your dashboard you have uh, quite a lot of things to check so first of all they're going to give you the widgets to get started so you know create a course connect to your bank etc and fresh learn experts you can talk to them and then moving down you can see the analytics for your fresh learn work and a whole lot more now moving on what we're going to do is we are going to move to products okay so the reason I'm moving to products is because I'm going to teach you how you're going to create your very own courses. All right. So for that, obviously, we're going to come to course. And once you're in course, what we're going to do is we're going to click on create course. Now, once you click on create course, you are going to be adding in some text descriptions and a whole lot more things. So I'm going to add this. And I'm going to write first course for testing. All right, and this is choose your author. So I'm going to choose, uh, you know, obviously myself as my author. And then you have things like, uh, you know, thumbnails. So I'm going to keep this thumbnail for now and I'm going to click on create course. And once you do that, obviously the course is created, but now we're going to need to click into it because first, when you click into it here, you can go ahead and add files. So you can add different types of files for yourself. You know, we're going to click on add module. I'm going to give it a random name and in this module as you can see you can add chapters and in these chapters you can add different forms of content so you can add videos audio document embeddings quiz assignments and even a live video okay these are different kinds of files that you can upload so let's say i want to upload a document all right so i'm going to go ahead and click on upload you can create a document through fresh learn as well but i'm simply going to go over here and let's say I'm going to upload this document in the first chapter of the course. Now, once we upload this document, it's going to show us the document. It's, you know, we can add our own text if we want to. But I'm going to skip that and I'm going to click on save. Now, once we do that, obviously, it's going to say that things have been saved successfully. So once everything is saved, we're going to return back. And now we have added in our files. Now, moving on, that is obviously file adding. How are you going to add assessments? So to add assessments, we're going to click on add final assessment. And once you click or, you know, add things like these, what that does is it obviously goes ahead and adds the different types of assessments that you can, you know, add for yourself additionally and uh, give to your curriculum. And these are the types of things that your curriculum requires when you're going ahead and adding all these things for yourself. So. You can also finally go ahead and publish all chapters, by the way, if you want to. So once your chapters are published, it's going to obviously show one by one. And uh, once it shows one by one, you know, you're going to get to see this section over here. Now, once we're done with that, then you have the pricings. OK, so these are different pricing methods. So to add different plans for pricing methods, you're going to come here and you get three different plans, the free recurring or one time. And it depends on you on the type of pricing you want to go with. You could go with free, which is obviously totally free. Someone could get it anytime, any place, anyhow they want it to be. One time is that obviously, let's say someone pays $23 for this. And after paying $23, that's it. You know, that's the only time they're going to have to pay. Recurring is like a Netflix subscription. The money keeps getting cut off uh, per, you know, month or per week or whatever time frame you keep. So right now I'm going to keep it on free and I'm going to click on save checkout page. So we have this. I'm going to simply add in these things. And once you have that, I'm going to simply save that. And there we go. Now, 
once you've had that saved, you know, there's your pricing plans. And moving on, you also have drip. Now, drip is obviously in the pro and no brainer plans. So this is something that you can get in the upper plan. So I'm going to skip over to certificate. And now you can add certificates. Now, this is unique compared to other course platforms. Now, the reason for that is that obviously other platforms will not allow you to get a certificate and you can get different types of templates for certificates, right? So let's say I'm going to go with this. Now, this looks cool. So you can add in your very own text, personalizations, signatories, logos, and themes however you want to and you can click on save now once you do that you're pretty much good to go when it comes to certificates and once all of that is done you have the settings and in the settings you can uh, update your course details update your sales landing pages but most importantly you have gamification where you can update reward points so basically on every chapter completion you can add in points so let's say on every chapter completion a person gets thousand game award points so this is also a pretty fun thing and it motivates students to complete entire courses now once we've talked about that you have your course created so you're simply going to click on publish and that as you can see publishes your course and you can copy this link and start sending it off to everyone pretty simple right now now once we've talked about that we should go ahead and move on to the much fun section okay and this section is obviously your digital download section so you can find the digital download section again in the product section you're simply going to come up here and you're going to click on digital download and here you can basically create different digital downloads for people to add over here and obviously it's the same as courses you can add different types of files for yourself so if you click on digital downloads again i'm going to write test over here then you have options for author i'm going to go with this and then you have digital download upload so i'm going to come here upload the um different files so these are the file types that you can upload currently jpg png svg jpeg and webp so obviously it's only an image right now for a digital download so i'm going to go with the any random image that i have over here i'm going to add it and as you can see it adds the image and i'm simply going to click uncreate now once it's created you're going to click on this and the same structure goes along you can add more digital downloads into it if you want to and then moving on you can also go into the pricings so if we click on add pricing here you have it you can create different plans for yourself so again click on add plan and you have two different plans so there's the free and there's the paid plan and in the paid plan obviously you can add a text for the plan name and you can add in however much money you want to add but i'm going to keep it simple right now and once we've done that simply click on save checkout page and this is going to be the save checkout page for it so once the payment page is done obviously you have your confirmation page and everything but we're going to skip that and we're going to come here to add a sales page okay so a sales page is a page where your page is obviously going to be sold you know pretty easy pretty basic stuff so you can come here, click on add new page. You have default home page, all products, privacy policy, subscribe now, term of use. But you can simply go ahead and create your very own page. Okay, so it takes you to the Fresh Learn web page builder. How incredible is that? That Fresh Learn gives you the privileges for a web page builder as well. So what you can do is you can simply go ahead and add a sales page. Or you can obviously change the different pages that you have to a sales page. And once you do that, as you can see, this is your sales page over here. You're going to sell your product. Make sure to save this. Obviously, you can edit it differently. You can bundle it together to, you know, add multiple products. So to add multiple products, you can literally come here, see the blocks that the products are in. So this is the list of blocks that the products are in. And uh, what you can do is you can simply go ahead and click on add block come here and choose the different things that you'd like to add so you know you have different things like gallery form pricing whatever you want to add add it right beyond this so these are the type of things that you're going to want to have when we are obviously going ahead and working with a platform like this so now that we've discussed about you know digital downloads we should also talk about the community. 
But before going to the community, let's talk about product bundle. So product bundle obviously is a section where you can add multiple products in one place. You know, it's a place where you can, you know, create a collage of the different products that you have. And it's pretty incredible to have for, you know, a type of marketing page like this. So, you know, add if there's courses, digital downloads, masterclass, you're going to choose the product that you want to choose. So I'm going to go with this one and you keep on adding things, make a bundle of them, choose prices, choose the pages. And, you know, it goes on same the way it did with courses and digital downloads. Now, again, we are going to be moving on to another place. Now that place is called community. Now community is basically this place where it's a place filled with the people from Fresh Learn. Okay. It's a great place for keeping everything in one place. Okay. It's basically like uh, a blog, you could say. You can start adding things over here, share with the Fresh Learn community on what you're doing, how you're doing it. And uh, it's a great place to keep track of the actions and uh, the, um, you know, different types of nefarious things that you're doing. So, you know, check the community out for, you know, different types of workings that you have. Now, moving on, obviously, we have websites and then we have marketing, right? So first of all, let's go to websites and let's go to pages. Now, once you go to websites and once you go to pages here, you can create a landing page for yourself, all right? So to create a landing page, we're going to go ahead and click on add a new page. And once we click on add a new page, what's going to happen is it's going to load us all these different templates. So you can choose any template you want. So let's say I'm going to go with a minimalist template on a management course. Let's go with that. Now, once you do that, let me show you how easy it is to change a website with a drag and drop builder. So what we're going to do is we are going to come here, click on add block. And once you click on add block, here you have the page blocks. And uh, to add page blocks, let's say I want to go ahead and add a gallery. So, you know choose these things and you can add your very own gallery in the page and the gallery obviously chooses to be added in uh, the regions that you want it to be added in obviously goes uh, the products and the testimonials goes along with it you can choose the places you want to add it to and uh, these are all obviously also the pages with the products and as you can see they keep on adding up just like this with the products and if you want to move them up and down you can simply go ahead to them click on these three buttons click on move up move down etc just like that so you know that's how easy it is to change your whole website now moving on you can also use the ai builder to create a website for you and if you want to use an ai builder obviously you're gonna to have to scratch this website off and they have a very own ai builder in the first half of the uh, you know manager and you can simply go ahead and use the AI builder. Now, you can also host your blog on Fresh Learn as well. So you can create different blogs using the different uh, websites that you have. And to create a blog, you're gonna come here, okay? And simply click on create blog. And creating a blog is pretty simple. You're just gonna write in posts. So let's say if you have any posts, I mean, you're gonna write it in, give it a description, give your blog a title once we do all this you can also upload an image to constitute what you're showing i'm simply going to save and continue and once you have this you're going to click on publish and it's going to create a blog and publish this post to that so pretty simple stuff right now finally we're going to move on to marketing and in marketing first of all you have email campaigns now email campaigning is to send email campaigns to your leads okay you gain leads through different types of marketing schemes. And once you have those leads, you can start doing email campaigning to them to obviously tell them about your courses or your digital downloads or whatever you're trying to sell. Okay, that's what email campaigning or email marketing is for. So first of all, you're gonna choose the email that you're gonna wanna go with. So from email is obviously gonna be required. Now, in the case that the email is not you know, coming up, you are going to obviously need to verify your domain and email for that. So you can verify your domain from the settings section. Uh, pretty simple. You know, just go to the settings and initiate the domain verification. Then you have things like input text, reply to email, and 
once you're done with all these things and once you've added your input text, you're going to be taken to the email content where they're going to ask you to choose a template for yourself. You know, you can also, by the way, design your own template if you want to, but I would, you know, suggest using the templates that they provide you. Obviously, these are premium templates. OK, so it might not be accessible for everyone, but trust me, once you start using them, they're a piece of cake to work with. But obviously, my templates, you can design your very own. And if you're good at designing, trust me, I would suggest you to go with them. So those are the email templates. And then you're simply going to edit them, go to the recipients, add in your leads, confirm all the recipients, and then finally send the email. So pretty easy and pretty basic stuff to work on. Now, once you're through with all of that, let's finally go ahead and discuss the pricings that Fresh Learn brings us. Okay. So basically you get three plans. Okay. The plans are free, pro, and no brainer. And obviously it's monthly and yearly. So on the free plan, very clearly you have zero dollars. And in zero dollars you get all core features like no transaction fee, unlimited digital products, payments integration, custom branding, video hosting, sales page builder, and a whole lot more. Then you have Pro Plan with $39 per month. And in this plan, what you get is obviously everything in the free plan, plus community, email campaigns, custom certificates, assessments, coupons, custom language, and it keeps going on and on. And then finally, you have No Brainer, which is obviously on a 30% off right now, so do check the link in the description below to get it off right now. And you can get a free trial on this as well. And you get all the features that it provides you, including things like gamification, question bank, random Q&A, affiliate programs, bulk actions, and a whole lot more things. So yeah, that's basically Fresh Learn, and that was the Fresh Learn review. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then. That's all from me, and I will be seeing all of you in the next video. Goodbye.